Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about some of the rare breeds of ducks and geese and uh, chickens that I raised here on the farm. This here is a silver apple yard female. They were originally made over in England. Between the cross is the roan, which is a French meat duck, and the pecan, which gives us this beautiful colored female. The jacks are also beautiful. They have a green hat, and they need a lot more work. There was a lot more people working on them about. 20, 30 years ago, right when the breed was starting and they needed to get the breed accepted in the American Poultry Association. But we need a lot more people working on this beautiful breed. Another not so common breed of variety right here is the Grey Runner. There isn't too many working, too many people working on this breed of this quality. As you can see, they're a mallard type. No, they are not a mallard. Granted, that, that is the mallard called Grey, like I said. All the quack index, or most quack index, originated from the mallard. One of the few ducks that did is the Muscovy, which is on the least of concern. Less to the fact that they can reproduce a lot more, and a lot of people prefer to raise that breed. This here is an exhibition quality dirt Brema. Um, I'm sure a couple of you people on here probably follow two guys in some land, Scott and Evan. They also raise this variety and breed. They're very frightened. There isn't too many people working on them that have good quality birds. But yeah, we lo really love this bird, and we love having them around the farm, and are really working hard to try and improve the breed as much as we can. Here's another breed of chicken that's very frightened. I know some of you are going to say, hey, let's use a Polish, I probably have one, but there is a big difference between having a backyard far quality or a hatchery quality bird compared to these exhibition type Polish. There isn't too many people raising them with this quality. It's a really, really difficult breed to work with. I for one love them and think that these are beautiful birds. If you'd like to try and start working on them, do some research, talk, message me or a few of the other breeders that are out there and make sure you know what you're doing. This guy here is a pilgrim goose. He's a gander. He's one of the few breeds of geese that are actually sex linked. The males are white with gray. Females are gray with white around their face. There isn't too many people raise the exhibition quality of this breed, which is why we really, really work hard to make sure we get enough babies, make sure we have enough genetic diversity to keep the breed going. And I'm going to finish off the video right here. This is a rose comb model in Kona. They come in rose and single comb, banal and standard. There isn't too many people working on the breed. We don't have a whole lot of genetic diversity, but we strive to make sure that this breed is up to the standard.